Hi guys, so this is another Dollar Tree haul that I am doing today. This is all stuff that is already open because I actually bought everything uh, about a week and a half ago before we went to Cancun. And I didn't have time to make a video before we left. So these are all things that I've already tried and opened and tasted and stuff. Uh, mostly food items, a couple of gardening things, and some uh, makeup stuff. So, what I'm going to start with first is I bought some of these S'mores Chewy Granola Bars. They are 100 calories each and on Weight Watchers, because those of you who watch my channel, I do Weight Watchers. Um, there are three points for one, which isn't that bad. Um, if you have it as like a dessert, because it has like graham cracker and marshmallow and chocolate and all that yummy stuff in there. So they're this big. They're about the same size as a regular um, Quaker one. So it comes with five in here. I thought that was a really good deal. So I bought those to try. Chris loves them. Uh, he says they taste like the regular ones. They're the same size. It's, um, they're not expired or anything. They don't expire until 2015. So... The other kind that I got is a peanut butter and chocolate chip. And like if you buy these, I don't know how much they are for like the generic brands. They're probably like $1.80 maybe. But if you buy the actual name brand of these, they're like, I find them like two for four or two for five sometimes when that's on sale. So they're kind of expensive. So this one is a peanut butter and chocolate chip. This one has 110 calories in it, but it is still also three points on Weight Watchers. So, and they're the same size. So, those are good. I definitely recommend these, especially if you have kids and stuff. They're cheaper. I would have never thought to buy those at the Dollar Tree. Um, I went to a different Dollar Tree when I bought all this stuff. So, that's kind of why I found it was really large. It had way more food items, way more of everything. Um, so, I bought more whales. This is a must. I always buy these every time I go. They are better than the regular fishy crackers that you see in the store. They're two points for 33 crackers. So, they are super, super good. Calorie-wise, they're 140 calories. Those are super, super yummy. Um, I bought some of these. They are pistachios. Uh, they're like down the chip aisle, I think. By like all the peanuts and beef jerky and that kind of stuff. This is a two serving pack. It's kind of small, but it is four points on Weight Watchers for half of the bag, which it says is 49 pieces. I don't think it looks like 49 pieces at all, but you never know. Um, Chris wanted these for his lunch, um, just a quick snack and stuff to have. They don't. They also don't expire until 2015. So. Um, and pistachios are pretty expensive. They're they're cheaper if you buy them in the bulk section at Winco. But so for a dollar, I thought this was really good. Um, just to stick them in like a bowl or Chris could take them to work. The, another food item is these Joseph's All Natural Sugar-Free Chocolate Chip Cookies. I have been on a cookie craving. I don't know why, but I... I don't know. I just, I crave chocolate chip cookies. My friend sent uh, to our house. She made peanut butter cookies and chocolate chip cookies, and I was supposed to give half of them to my father in law. I ate all of them. I ate my serving and I ate his serving. So, yeah, he didn't get any. Um, so, these, they are okay. They're not soft by any means. They're a hard, crunchy cookie. I'll show you how big they are. They're kind of small. So one serving is four cookies like this. This would be good if you like topped it on top of like ice cream or something. Um, or maybe if you made um, like some sort of dessert casserole with Cool Whip and stuff. Kind of like some of my videos I've done. It would be good like that. Um, so they're, how many, they're 95 calories for four cookies, which isn't bad on the calorie wise. But points, they're three points for four cookies, which... Isn't that bad, but I would I wouldn't have this as a regular snack for three points for when I want some sweet and um, chocolatey. I feel like I can find other things that I get way more that is just as satisfying, if not more. 
So one thing I was super excited to find were these strawberry sugar wafer cookies. I used to eat these all the time when I was a kid. My mom used to buy like the variety pack with the chocolate and then the vanilla one, or vanilla or lemon, I can't remember. And then these pink ones. Now they had two different kinds. They had this package which had less calories. It's 130 calories. Oh. It's 130 calories for two packs. I like these because they come individually wrapped. It's perfect for lunches, especially if you have kids. They, there are three wafer crackers in here. And now looking at it, Weight Watchers wise, they're four points for two. So they're two points for one pack. Um, I thought that they were four points for one pack, but actually looking at the package, it's for six, crack, six wafers. So it has a serving of 10 in here and uh, this package has 20 packages. So it's four points for two, two points for one. So, and they're super, super good. Um, just like I remember when I was a kid. So, but they had this package which had more and they're individually wrapped and they're thicker crackers and they're less calories. And then they had another package which was like half this size. It only had like one stack and they weren't as uh, they weren't, they were super thin and they weren't individually wrapped or anything and um, they were like 200 calories, I don't know why. So I definitely recommend these, super, super good. The last, um, kind of the last food item that I bought, I'm sorry I opened all this stuff up so it's kind of hard to see the packaging so I apologize. They're the Lance, it's called Nip Chi, not cheese, Chi. Crackers. They look like that. <clears throat> they are 130 calories for one package. And each package has four crackers. When you buy them in the grocery store, there's, um, they're a little bit longer. They have six crackers, but this has four crackers. I got the cheddar cheese kind. There's two grams of protein in here. And Weight Watchers wise, there are three points for this. Which I don't think that's bad if, you know, you're super hungry and you're waiting for lunch and eat one of these, the carbs are going to fill you up. So, um, it's satisfying. They don't expire until 2014. So, I always like to check the expiration dates, like at Dollar Tree and Grocery Outlet, because you never know. Um, who, who knows? So, I recommend these also. Chris liked them. They taste really good. They taste like the name brand ones. And I kind of like that they're smaller. I like that there's only the four crackers instead of six. Okay. So, since we were leaving to go on vacation and we're trying to, we were trying to eat what we had instead of going grocery shopping, we were out of coffee. So I bought this. It is roasted ground coffee. It's a breakfast blend. And it says that it has makes up to 40 cups. It's from Mountain High, Mountain High Premium Coffee. It was awful. Um, it didn't have a normal smell of coffee and it tasted like water and I put I put quite a bit in there um yeah I don't recommend this I think I'm just gonna throw it away maybe bring it to the break room at work or something when I work on Friday but yeah I definitely don't recommend this if you tried this let me know what you think of it or if you even liked it um I drink my coffee black I don't put any creamer in it so maybe that's why um I really didn't care for it. I don't know. So that is a no-go. So these items I've bought already. I bought two of the LA Colors uh, Very Black Eyeliner. It's not called Very Black. It's just black. It's the Auto Eyeliner. Yep, that's what it is. Just Auto Eyeliner. Um, I bought this a while ago, and I really like it. I wear it every single day, and it's my favorite. Um, I was buying like the Revlon one, and it's like five or six dollars for um, one pen with the twisting, the twisting stuff, and everything. Am I making any sense? I'm sorry. It's late. I'm tired. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I had a couple to last me for a while, 
One will last me quite a few months, but I just wanted to make sure that I had more because I wear black eyeliner every day. So I just bought two more of those just so I have them. And then also something I bought a while ago. This is very black. It's a Wet n Wild mascara. It's called Mega Length. Yep, Mega Length mascara. Um, I love this. I did a review on this a couple videos ago. Um, I really like the brush. It's not, the bristles aren't super long, so I find that when you have mascara and the bristles are long, it gets clumpy a lot easier. Um, when the bristles are really super short, it doesn't clump, but it still applies very nicely. I've been wearing this every day, so again, that's why I, I didn't need one, but I wanted to buy one just to have when I ran out, because I don't know when or how long that they'll have it at Dollar Tree. Another thing I got was, so I bought that Britney Spears Circus Impression Perfume from Dollar Tree a while ago, and I love it. I have been wearing it every single day. You do have to apply a little bit more just because it kind of wears off um, throughout the day, so I put like a, a lot on, but it's not like overpowering or anything. So now every time I go there, I'm um, buying or I'm always looking at the perfumes and smelling all of them. And then I found this one. It's called You To Me Exclusive. It's by European American Designs for women. I already tossed the box. I'm sorry. Um, I think it was white with gold writing or something on it. Um, and it smells super good. It's kind of like, it's not sweet like the other one. This is going to sound really bad, but it's kind of, kind of like old lady-ish, but I like it. I think it smells nice. More like a fancier perfume, not like the fruity teenage stuff, you know? Does that make any sense? I hope it does. So it's uh, 2.5 ounces. So it smells super good. I haven't used it yet, except just when I sprayed it to test it right when I got home. So I also got my husband one. I don't have it because I forgot to grab it, but it is a cologne, and um, a lot of the men's cologne there, they all smell the same, but I found one that I love, and he's been wearing it for a week and a half, and it's awesome. It's better than some of his other other colognes that he has that are way expensive. It's called Hulk, um, just like superhero, and it comes in a green box, <clears throat> kind of rectangle looking, and it's a green bottle, and if you see it there, smell it because it smells super, super good. He really likes it too, so. Um, so yeah, when you're at Dollar Tree next time, just stop by the perfumes and smell them and see what you like and what you don't like and stuff. And yeah, I bet you'll find something you like. So I also got. I'll start with this. So it's almost gardening time, which I'm super excited about. I didn't get to have a garden last summer because Chris and I got married and. Um, it was too busy to have a garden and um, we were out of town a lot and stuff so I didn't have one so I'm really excited to have one this summer because I have these three foot by six foot uh, planter boxes that my husband and my dad made and I have two of them so um, I got the 16 cell starter kit they had these at Dollar Tree which I was super surprised because I've never seen these there before they have these at Walmart and stuff. Um, they have all sorts of kinds. I don't really know how much they are. I think they might be two dollars. So you're, I mean, you're saving like half. But um, they don't have holes in the bottom. They're pretty flimsy, but they do not have holes in the bottom. So you will have to like poke or drill a little hole in these just for drainage. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try these. I got three of them. I probably won't use all of them, but just in case some of the uh, seeds don't germinate or anything like that, um, I have some extras. And then along with that, I got some garden gloves. Purple is my favorite color, if you guys don't know. Um, so I got some purple ones I have. I have some gardening gloves that I got two summers ago, but I can only find the left hand. I don't know where all the right ones went, and it was a pack of three. So for a dollar, I just picked them up. It's like soft on this side, and then on the um, palm part, it has like the little grippies. So, yeah, they were a dollar. They're from Garden 
the garden collection. And then Chris actually didn't have any gardening gloves at all, so I bought him some. I just bought him black. And they had some cute designs for like the girl ones with like flowers on them and stuff, but I just got the purple. The ones I got last time had designs, so I stuck with the solid color. And I feel like I forgot a couple things to grab before I made this video, but I can't remember what it was that I bought because it was a week and a half ago. So, anywho, when I went there I spent $21 or so, and this isn't $21 worth of stuff, but uh, maybe if I find the things that I bought that I forgot to show, I will put it on my next Dollar Tree video. So, anywho, if you have tried any of these products, food, gardening, especially the coffee, I want to know what you guys think. Give me a thumbs up, write any comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.